<clears throat> Welcome everybody to Tuesday Night Live. Um, Marty Padilla, where is your new team member? Is she jumping on tonight? Because I want to acknowledge her for selling so much product. Not sure. Okay. Um, so Marty, do, are you able to come off your microphone or not? Because you could tell us a little bit about your, your team member, how you know her and why you think she's being so successful. She has sold in the, for in her last 11 days, she has sold over $1,200 worth of product. Well, $1,100 of product. Um, she sent me a list of all the stuff that she goes, I need two of these and three of these and one of these and one of these. And I was just like, now she did add some fragrances to it, but she sold, she sold a lot of product. Um, and how she sold some of the stuff she sold, I don't know. She sold like a clear proof set. She sold two men's sets. Um, and so she's doing really, really well. And her background is she's from Peru. And Marty, I didn't realize this, but she was in Mary Kay before as well, or no? Am I misunderstood? I guess Marty's not in a place where she can talk. Um, anyway, I can't remember if um, if Jose is um, was in Mary Kay before, but she's from Peru. And so we talked about doing a virtual kickoff party. She says, I'm going to have to translate most of it because most of my friends don't speak English. Okay. She is from Peru. She was in Mary Kay before. She lives in Colorado. Okay. Yeah. And I knew, I knew that she's, she's from Peru. I didn't, for some reason, I missed the whole memo on she was in Mary Kay before. So um, it's exciting to see what she's doing and she's just talking to people. And um, it, a lot of the ways the Spanish, the lady, the Latina women sell is try it on the back of their hand, try it on their face. They don't, they just, they just jump in with a kit. They just jump in and make it happen. Right. So that's, which is super, super exciting. So Marty, I'm very excited that your first team member towards your red jacket only two to go. So I'm very, very excited. I'm not sure which jacket style you're going to pick the bomber, the blazer, or the, the tweed looking one, but they're all adorable. And then I also want to do a quick shout out to, to Casey, who's jumping on here in a minute. She just added her second team member who is Mariah, who is on here tonight. <clears throat> and Mariah is excited. Mariah works in customer service. So Mariah, if you can come off your microphone <clears throat> for just a second and tell us a tiny bit about you and why did you decide to add Mary Kay to your life? I decided to add Mary Kay to my life because I wanted to try something different. I've been doing customer service for five, six years. So I've gotten the hang of talking to people, figuring out what direction people are going in while they're talking to me, kind of figuring out what they want. So I want to see if I can use the skills I've learned over the years in a different industry. Okay. So what are you most looking forward to? Is it making money? Is it personal growth? Is it fun? Cause I know you're stressed when you were anything, as soon as you tell people you work in customer service, I know that they're good at, at, at um, uh, conflict resolution because in today's world, the only time people call customer service is when they're pissed off about typically, typically. And I, you work in a hotel, which means you either have happy people or you have people who definitely are not happy. So what would you say is your, the thing you're looking forward to the most, Mariah? Um, probably the personal growth because yeah, I spend, a lot of my days talking to people, trying to make people happy, finding solutions, but I want to be comfortable in it so that I can get more satisfaction out of it. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And so we just set the date for your kickoff party, which is going to be a hybrid. We've got a couple of people local, a couple of people far away. Um, so you are going to text me your photo, right? Oh, yes. You keep forgetting. I know. We, yeah, I know. I don't mean to like stalk you for your photo, but I can always pick something off Facebook. You guys usually don't like it when I do that, though, because it's never the photo you guys want. Um, so I'm super, super excited for you, Mariah, and and your kickoff party and working on your pink ring. And I know that uh, Yasi finished her pink ring because she did sell so much product so quick. She sold way more than 25 items. If you count this, like the skincare sets as individual thingies or whatever, she probably sold close to maybe 35 or 40 items. So it's, it's exciting. It's, it's, it's really, you guys, it's, it's in what you think. If you think it's hard, it's hard. If you think it's not, it's not. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's pretty, it's pretty much what we tell ourselves. It's kind of like that shot's going to hurt. The shot's going to hurt. The shot's going to hurt. And the doctor sticks you like, oh my God, that hurt. But maybe it didn't really hurt as much as you thought it was going to hurt. So it's, it is, it's truly, this business is either easy or it's not right. So um, I need to send this because one of the girls can't find the link. Hold on one second, you guys. I apologize. I'm trying to get, um, where is Bella on here? Let me just set, type her name in here. She just sent me a text, but it's, for some reason, it's not coming up on the phone that I have for her. Oh, there she is. Okay. All right. 
So I'm just, I'm really, really excited about that. So I would like to know from any of you guys that are on this evening, if there was one thing you did this last week that made, that you're really proud of, maybe you stepped outside your comfort zone and talked to a stranger. Maybe you remembered to do some follow-up with customer service. Maybe you coached a hostess for a party and now she's really excited. What's the one thing you're most proud of for, for achieving this last week? Carrie, Connie, Janine, Marty, anybody? Well, when I was on my vacation, I did what I said. I was going to hit the girls up with samples, handed out three books, handed out cards, samples. And they were like, oh, this is nice. So did you demo that hands on? But... Were you able to demo satin hands on anybody? Mm -hmm. That's usually a great, just a great icebreaker, just a great kind of thing. Okay. And did you get any interest in either sales or people that might want to give you their opinion of the skincare? Well, none of them are local, so they can't come tomorrow. But um, right. um, I handed out, like I said, the books and cards and samples. And I said, let me know if there's anything else you need and we'll talk. Okay. And there so was interest. Guys, in <clears throat> there's interest. Well, that's great. So when you guys hand out samples, especially if you're handing a whole strip of skincare, like if you're just handing out a charcoal mask or whatever, but if you're visiting relatives or friends and you're handing them a whole strip of skincare, I would say, I would put their hand on the sample and I'd put my hand on top of it. And I'd say, okay, I want you to have a really good experience. So you want to use these in the right order and the right quantity, because there's enough in here for three days or three applications. So when can I have 15 minutes with you so we can get our faces ready for bed? Because if they know it's only 15 minutes and if you gave them charcoal mask, that's literally wash their face, slap on charcoal, talk about the rest of the set and they can do it. Then they get the good result. Otherwise they use it all, then it's too thick or too thin and, or they don't use it in the right order. I had a gal go, oh, I only used all the eye cream up. I'm going, okay, great. <laughs> so, and you're going to hear actually Ari Hathaway suggested on the outside of the package you put, please don't, please do not open samples until our pampering on. And then she breaks the date, literally on the outside of the envelope. And I thought, you know what? Maybe that's a good thing because then they won't be tempted to, Although I don't really care that they open it. I just would prefer them not to use everything before the party just because then it messes them up. So Janina, congratulations for stepping outside your comfort zone, talking to relatives, um, letting them try stuff. So now Janine, if you wanted to, um, if they got if they got skincare, you could, if they wanted to jump on tomorrow, I could take my iPad to Martinez and put it on Zoom. So if anybody wants to do that or has an out of town guest, um, that wants to hear about the new product, we can totally do that. I'd, so I'd have I'm to curious, check. Huh? Yeah. I'd have to check with, get their, the one girl's number. I didn't get her number. She's my mother, my daughter-in-law's mother's neighbor. So I can get it. Okay. Okay. Now I'm curious, Marty, you went to seminar and Carrie, you went to seminar. Have either one of you tried the new skincare system? Either Carrie or Marty, either one of you, or tell me, did you guys get a chance to try the new skincare? Perry, are you there? Oh, there you are. No. You haven't had a chance to try it yet? No, I used the repair, so I haven't tried it. No. Nope. Okay. Well, I used the repair too, but I just figured I kind of wanted to see how the day solution felt and the night solution felt and, and all of that. So, um, and then Marty, you said, did you get a chance to try it yet? I can't tell if that's that a halfway smile face. I don't know if that means that, if that means yes or no. Um, well, tomorrow night, so let me tell you guys kind of what's coming up for the next two weeks. So tomorrow night, I decided to do an in-person event. It's just for the consultants as much as it is for the guests. I would love nothing more than all the consultants to experience the miracle set, this new formula. Because you will have people who don't want to either spend as much as repair or maybe don't need the advanced anti-aging or want less steps or whatever. The one nice thing I will tell you about the miracle set, well, there's several nice things, but the fact that we have a day solution a la carte. So if somebody is wearing botanical or they're doing clear proof or they're doing whatever, and the mom or whoever wants some sunscreen options, we now have a day solution with SPF 30. So that's going to be huge to have that. Even you may end up selling that kind of separately. So tomorrow in Martinez, I reserved a whole patio next to the end of this Nicaraguan restaurant. If you want to order off the menu, empanadas, whatever, it supports Jennifer, the lady who owns the restaurant. If not, it's no big deal. I'm going to be there a little before six and get all set up. There's going to be a little gift for every single guest, not for the consultants, but I need to know how many people are coming. I don't know if I'm setting up for four, 14. I think I've had about seven RSVPs so far. 
my goal would be to have at least 20 to 25 people there tomorrow. And I have a little skincare survey. So I will tell you guys, this is a really big deal. How do you get people there? By just saying, this is a pre-release party. You can't, you can't see this on my website. You can't get it on the mirror. And you can even explain to them, you can't even get it. The consultants can't even order. I can't even order it. Like I got the sets from the company as a director in our buzz kit. I got one of each set, the dry to normal combo to oily. I can't even order it. Sound like you guys are having to wait. I have to wait too. So this is a really, really big deal for tomorrow for them to be able to experience it. We're going to have little surveys. They'll fill out the surveys. I'll fold them in half. I'll do a couple drawings. They all get a special gift. Tomorrow night's going to be a lot of fun. Does anybody have questions on tomorrow night? What to bring, what to say, what to do. Okay. I really, really hope you guys come. I'd love for you. I'm, I'm reading up tonight. I'm watching three more videos on the skincare set, learning about all the different things, How because it is different than our current miracle set, quite a bit different. Um, so learning about ingredients and that kind of thing. So the most important thing is that you guys bring the trays and mirrors that you need to do your own face and any of your guests' faces, unless you're super new, like Mariah, and you don't have your kit yet. Then you just text me how many people are coming, like you and one other or whatever, and I will make sure that I have extra trays and mirrors. Um, but you're going to need to bring your own supplies. I will have the product. And I'm, we're, all we're going to demo tomorrow is satin hands, satin lips, and skincare. I will pass around microderm. I might even put a little dot of microderm in the back of their hand. I might also let them smell charcoal mask. But my goal would be that they all fall in love with the skincare and hopefully decide that they can't live without it. That's always the goal. So tomorrow night's going to be a lot of fun. Even if you don't have a guest, by all means, please come. You'll learn a lot and experience it for yourself. When they say, well, is the day solution really heavy? You don't want to go, well, I don't know. I've never tried it. Even if you wear a repair, you still want to try it because you want to be able to tell them what the experience is like. Does that make sense? Same thing with the night solution and stuff. So I'm excited. Now, keep in mind, you guys, the new set, I'm assuming you all know this, it does not come with eye cream anymore. So the eye cream is now an a la carte item. Um, let me see if I can pull up a picture of the new closing sheet. Okay, so this is, <clears throat> and I'm just going to modify my closing sheet. I'm, my closing sheet, I've sold so much more product with it. I'm going to keep using the same closing sheet. But on here, um, so notice that this is the miracle set right here. It's 116. It does not come with eye cream. But here you have is more of what they call the ultimate miracle set. And that has eye cream in it. And when you buy it with the eye cream, I believe you save like an extra $4 plus the 12 bucks you save on this. So you save, I guess, like a total of $16. Does that make sense? Now, um, anybody have questions on the new, the new miracle set? You can't order it until the 28th. Nobody can, not even me. Anybody else have questions on the new skincare? <clears throat> Okay, so if you guys have current skincare, current miracle sets, what I would do is I would reach out to your clients and say, hey, there's going to be a new formula. Um, but if you want to get any of the current formula, some people are resistant to change. In fact, a lot of people are resistant to change and they may not want to immediately switch off. So you could do one of a couple things. You could just let them stock up. You could also offer your current miracle sets at a little discount, like maybe 99 if they buy it this week. And get the current miracle sets normally 120 do it for 99 so you can move them if you have a lot of them um that's definitely an option this though you can't it won't post on your facebook excuse me not your facebook guys i apologize it won't post on your website as something customers can see until september 15th does that make sense so you guys have time to sell through your miracle sets to pay how many you, ha you have you may already be sold out i just have odds and ends and pieces but if you say while supplies last, miracle set for 99, only limited to what I have on hand. If you only got three sets and you only have three sets. Anybody have any questions on the new miracle set? The old miracle set, how to move them, how to what to do? Y'all feel pretty comfortable with that? All right. So I'm really, really hoping if you guys live within a 45 minute radius of Martinez, I highly, highly, highly suggest you come tomorrow. Because tomorrow, it's not about, I have nothing else to do on a, on a Wednesday night. It's a, it's more about getting it available for you guys. There are a lot of fact sheets. Do you guys know if you guys can access all this information yet? Like when you guys go on Product Central, is the whole miracle set on there yet or not? Does anybody know? I'm thinking you guys can't, can't, but you might be able to. But if somebody could let me know that, that would be helpful. There are these kind of fact sheets. So there's this. 
that explains the four pieces of the of the miracle set, what it does within your first two weeks, in your first four weeks, after 12 weeks, the results that you can get, the anti-aging that how it is. Now, this is not meant to replace the repair set at all. This is still a great skincare system, but it's if someone's happy and they're on repair, keep them on repair by all means, because repair is just a completely different beast. It's just a completely different product. But tomorrow night's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll have satin hands there, satin lips. I will have the new eye makeup remover there. If they want to literally get their faces ready for bed, otherwise they can leave their eye makeup on and we can just wash around that. But they'll get to try the day solution on the back of their hand, but we are going to get their faces ready for bed. So they'll be doing the night solution, the moisturizer, the cleanser. Okay. Questions, comments? I'm looking at doing another event next week. So what I'm debating on is, should I do it in the Benicia area, this side of the bridge, or if I do another one in Martinez, would you guys prefer that? Because I will book another one for next week so you guys have more time to get models there. Anybody have a preference, whether it's on the Benicia side of the bridge or the other side of the bridge? I want to go wherever you guys can get the most people. No one has a thought. Okay, then. <laughs> Are you doing it on Wednesday night? No, I'm probably going to do it on a Thursday night because next Wednesday night, Janice is doing a huge um, a virtual event on the Miracle Set. Like she's got Katie Lawrence coming on. She does have a sharing event next week at six, but I think we could do the, the skincare event at seven and it'll be fine. So, I mean, I thought about doing it on the weekend, but when the weather's like this and people are going back to school and stuff, nobody wants to come on a weekend. That's just what I'm finding. So- I just need to get a clearance from this gal with her restaurant to see if I can use it next Thursday. And I'll know by tomorrow, so I'll be able to post it. Otherwise, I can host it at my house, and I'm totally happy to do that. But you guys, if you literally, if you live within a 45-minute drive of Martinez, I would so encourage you tomorrow to jump jump in your car, come, bring a train, a mirror, and a washcloth for you so that you can try it um, and, you know, experience it so you can have, so you have this kind of as, you know, knowledge so that when you guys go out to market it. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about tonight really quick is some upcoming events. So Janice has got a, a funny national on Thursday night sharing. And actually, Mariah, were you on the um, the sharing event last Thursday night? Did you jump on to hear the gal speak? I think so. Okay. Do you mind sharing just from a guest perspective? How was it when, when um, Casey invited you? I'm not sure what you expected, but, or what did you expect? And how was it for you to just sit there and listen to the opportunity? Um, it's not anything like I expected, and it was really cool to hear firsthand someone's experience starting from day one, and why she did it, and, you know, it, I don't know, it was really relatable, and just where she was coming from, and how far she's, you know, come and succeeded, it was, it was kind of awesome to hear, and it was kind of motivating. Okay, and I think, I think also, were you impressed by how many people were on listening? Yeah, definitely. I think it was, what, almost 300 people? Yeah, and I think that's what really makes it really, really powerful, you guys, is when they jump on, they don't know what they're jumping onto, but when they see 100 or 200 people on, then they kind of go like, whoa, there's a lot of people, and there's a lot of chat back and forth with, and they'll say, well, how many cars have you earned? And sometimes they think, oh, nobody I know has earned a car. And then when the directors all type in how many cars they've earned, it's a lot of cars. And so I think it makes people realize that this is a business, you know, a viable business that's possible. So just like Mariah, now, Mariah, were you offered, were you bribed with anything? Were you told by Casey, I'll give you something? Or did she just say, jump on and you might win something? Yeah, she literally just said, if I wanted to jump on, see what it was like. And there, there were prizes for guests and that it would, you know, look good for her. I was like, oh, okay, I'd love to help Casey out. And then I ended up winning that necklace. I think it was the night before or that night. Oh, so you won one of the necklaces that night? Mm-hmm. Oh, you won a Kendra Scott piece of jewelry? I did. It was the ruby necklace. It's so pretty. Oh, my God. Okay, you need to take a selfie with that picture. I need to see that. Well, so congratulations. I didn't realize that. So, but you guys, you see, you just don't know what people are looking for. So what you do is, you, especially if you're new, and if you're not new, if it's Sandy Muller, you're not new, and you could just say, you know what? I'm relaunching my business. I'm in training. I need three people to listen tomorrow. You're the quality that I'm looking for. I don't know if you're looking for something fun or a way to make money, but would you jump on and check it out? It's like the worst thing she could say is, oh my gosh, you need to talk to my aunt. She'd be perfect or, you know, whatever. So 
anyway, so that's going to be going on um, tomorrow, tomorrow, no, not tomorrow, Thursday night. Now, next week, Janice has got a sharing a uh, virtual event. And I want to share this with you really quick because did I not post it back up here again? <clears throat> um, hold on. I keep posting so much stuff on here. It's insane. I think I sent it out in the email. Um, the event that is a week from tomorrow is an in-person event and it's got um, uh, Katie Lawrence in it and she's going to go over what's in the new <clears throat> the new product line with the miracle set, how it works, all the all the bells and whistles. Now, it's also translated into Spanish. Let me show you guys these flyers super quick. So here's the flyer in Spanish, okay? And then the flyer in English is right here. So it's a week from tomorrow, 6 p.m. California time, as always, she will be previewing the new miracle set. Now, here's notice over here where the pink arrow is, all consultants will be in a drawing as well as the guests. So every consultant that jumps on, <clears throat> I'm not sure how Janice is going to do the chat section on that one, but anyway, all the consultants jumping on will get their name into a drawing because she's literally going to train us on how to use this, why it's different, what makes it amazing, all of that. So you guys really want to block this out in your date book for next Thursday to listen to, or next Wednesday, excuse me, to listen to this at six o'clock California time. Okay. So that's, th that's next Wednesday. And then next Thursday, of course, is uh, National Sales Director Carmen Jones. She's got a great laugh. She's very strong in her faith, very family driven. And so that's a week from Thursday. So you've got tomorrow in person in Martinez. You've got Thursday's virtual event with a share. And then next week, you've got Wednesday with product and, when, and Thursday with a share. These are all on our calendar for the month. But I just want to make sure you guys have a handle on stuff. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So how many of you guys know what PCP is? Well, that doesn't sound right. Uh, PCP is a drug, but in Mary Kay, <laughs> PCP stands for the Preferred Customer Program. So some of you have enrolled in it. Um, if anybody wants to help me explain PCP, that would be great. Anybody want to jump in and help me explain it? I'm going to go grab a lookbook really quick. Could I get someone to come on and explain what PCP is? Oh, I can. Okay, go for it, Sandy. Well, all you need to do is uh, get the name and address of um, some customers or potential customers and ask them if they wouldn't mind receiving uh, one of the company's lookbooks, you know, just describing new products, new trends, and it's usually once a quarter um, in the it's called the Preferred Customer Program. And so the company does everything. They put it together, put a little message from you on the back and mail it for you. And it's much less than you could even do that for yourself. So you just need to um, get your list of names and addresses together and enter them. And then it's, I'm not sure how much the cost is. It's really reasonable. Like, 90 cents. You, you can't beat that. And so, don't forget there's a sample. Yeah. Oh yeah. And the sample and you just, I don't think you, there's not even a minimum number of names. You just get as many as you can um, to so that when the brochure is coming out for Christmas, this is, is this the holiday one? Yeah, this is the holiday. So you definitely want to get as many of your friends and um, family and people that you know in your circle on your mailing list right now, because this is the time of the year. You guys, you know what I got in the mail today? I got the holiday lookbook. Should I show it to you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just show you the cover because I don't want to get in trouble. Hold on a second. Okay, don't tell anybody I showed you this. This is what the holiday lookbook is going to look like. So this is what you're enrolling people in. So it looks like, here, let me let me um, go to speaker view so you guys can see this. Now am I bigger? Okay, so here it shows the woman's face. It shows the miracle set, little sparkly stuff all over it. I have no idea what the free sample is going to be inside, but it'll come looking just like this, like Sandy said, it's 90 cents. And um, so somebody like, let's say Melanie Buck's pretty new and she might go, yeah, but who do I enroll? If it were me, it's the holidays gang. This is going out in September. So what I would do, I would go, who do I send Christmas cards to? Who, who is, if I was having a wedding anniversary, or if I was going to have a luau at my house, who would I want to invite? And even if they don't live near me, like who, it doesn't make any difference where they live. Um, whether it's people that have bought from you or not, it could be relatives, girlfriends. And like Sandy said, there is no minimum. So here's what I will tell you. If you enrolled a friend and you, in every one of these books for the year, which there's four mailings, sometimes five, but usually four. Um, if they buy one eyeshadow, 
during the year, you will have paid for all of your mailings, all four of them. So it requires one $8 eyeshadow sale to cover your costs. You guys, for them to do this for 90 cents is insane. Now you do need addresses. So I will tell you, write this down. The, the deadline is the 17th. That is in just a couple days, day after tomorrow. So what you don't want to do is wake up on the morning of the 17th and go, oh, snap, I don't have anyone's addresses. How often do you mail stuff out? I don't, except for at Christmas. I text or email, right? So you might want to do a little text blast, text blast picture of you holding up a current lookbook like this, like something cheesy, and then go like this, like, I don't know, and say, I need your address because I want to send you a special upcoming holiday, holiday book. Where should I mail it? Not do you want one or anything, it's where should I mail it? And they will text you back their address and their zip code. Then you enter it into the My Customer app on computer or on, the, I think that the app on the phone is way easier. Um, and then you're going to enroll them. Now you could enroll two people, you could enroll 30 people, it doesn't matter. But here's what's really cool. Let's say Melanie enrolls 22 people. I'm going to give you a script of exactly what to say the week the book comes out and you follow up with that. And then it's all layering. 80%, write this down, you guys, 80% of the sales in life, in anything, go to the person who makes the sixth contact. So this is contact number one. You send them a text going, did it arrive? Like, I'll, I'll take a picture of this lookbook like this with me, and I'll take a picture like this, maybe standing next to my mailbox, and I'll say, hey, has it arrived? And I send this to them a week before I know it's arriving. Well, it's like, well, why would you do that if you know it doesn't arrive? Because I want them to start looking for it. Because if their husbands go get the mail, this may go to the this may go in the garbage can before the wife even sees it. You know what I mean? He might go from the from the from the mailbox to the garbage can and then bring it into the house. So you say, make sure you get this. It's coming with a free sample inside. And if they say, what's the free sample? Say, I can't tell you. It's a surprise because it's a surprise to me too. I have no idea what the sample is. If I knew the sample, I'd tell you. All right. The other cool thing is when Melanie enrolls, let's say 25 people in this, guess what she gets to do? She gets to order the product five days earlier than everybody else. So um, when they launch the holiday line, which I will tell you right now, the men's, oh, I'm not supposed to tell you that. Well, they're coming out with something for men that smells amazing. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with a guy. You have to have a guy, um, but it smells amazing and it's a shower thing. And um, that's going to sell out really fast because last year they, they goofed up and they didn't bring out anything for men. And so when they bring out something and they remember, it sells out super fast. So I'm just predicting that's going to be one of the first things sold out. Oh, and I guess I could show you this too. I'm going to get in so much trouble. Oh, this is being recorded. Never mind. I'm not going to show you anything else. Okay, go ahead, Jen. Um, also remember to order a couple more extra ones for yourself <laughs> because it's always nice to be able to take it around with you and hand it out before you can actually order it. Okay, yeah, you can do that. You can do that as well. And then when the when the um when the um you get that early offer the early order offering, what's really helped, especially during the holidays, you guys, is one year, this is about maybe seven or eight years ago, they came out with little fragrance vials. And we knew because of the price point was like $16, these suckers were gonna sell out fast. Well, the first people who did PCP ordered them. By the time they came, it was like the 15th. That was the day the other people could order for the first time. Well, we already had sold all of ours in those first six days and we were ordering again the next day. It sold out like within, I think it was 11 days of the launch, they were gone. And we were all like, are they bringing back more? And the company's like, no, we under forecasted. We didn't know that was gonna be that popular. And that happens every once in a blue moon. They mess up and don't order enough or don't make enough because they forecast stuff out two years. Okay, I'll show you one thing. Just don't tell anybody. Look at the cute polka dotted socks that are going to come with the Mint Bliss. When you order Mint Bliss for the holidays, it comes with socks. That is my number one gift for people, for teachers and stuff. Like last year, I bet I had my, my friend wrap 40 of them and I could have sold another 40. Like people were going, nobody bought a single one. They're like, I'll take three, I'll take eight, I'll take six. Cause I think I did buy four, get the fifth for a dollar or something like that. And I just had people say, I'll take five, I'll take five. And then when you're selling five at a time, you go through 25 like that. So then I was running out of socks and I was running out of lotion. It was like, oh my God. So anyway, this is gonna be a great mailing. Again, it's the holiday book. Now I will tell you what happens every flipping year. So don't tell me that you didn't know is that the holiday book with the sample will sell out early. So what I would do is mentally, I would tell yourself the night of the, wait, what's the deadline for PCP? You guys, it's the 17th, which is Thursday, right? Yeah, so Thursday. I would, so I would tell yourself that the deadline is tomorrow night and I would get as many people enrolled tomorrow night, get them in, get them paid for, put them on your credit card, get it done. 
And then if you are waiting for a few more addresses from other people, you can always add them the morning of the 17th. But if you wait to enroll everyone the night of the 17th, most of the time it'll say, we are so sorry. The lookbooks with the free samples are sold out, but we will still send you the, the book. So they'll still send the book. There's just no free sample inside. And customers love a free sample. In fact, when this sample came out with Casual Rose, I think in the first week, I think I sold like five or six Casual Rose lipsticks because everybody got to try it. They're like, I want that color. So, um, or the mop, whatever the the new the new lip thingy stuff was. Anyway, so um, anybody have questions on PCP or how to how to sign people up or how to how to enroll people? Y'all got a handle on that part? Okay, so the training tonight, the topic is on booking. So when you guys, what I want to do is brainstorm for just a second. What's the easiest part of booking for you? Is it making the phone call? Is it sending the text? Is it making a list of who you want to book? What's the easiest part of booking? This is called audience participation. Anybody want to share? <laughs> What's the easiest part of booking for you? Making a list. Making a list of the people. Okay. And so Sandy, where do you start making your list? Who, who do you write down on your list? Um, well, from my current customers. Okay, customers. And um, potential, well, and I have some uh, referral card, well, referrals from your current customers. Okay, and referrals. also um, I have some cards that I've handed out to and put those people down. And then what I do is I always um, put their name down the night before, write their phone number. So I have them the next day when I call them. Okay. Um, to search for the number. Okay, so for you, the easiest part of booking parties is making your list of women. That's awesome. All right, anybody else? What else? What's the part that, that you find is the most fun? What's the most fun of booking parties? Well, then maybe we should go right to the, the second thing then. What's the, what's the part that you like the least when it comes to booking? Is it texting? Is it getting on the phone? Is it blocking out your date book? What, what do you feel is the part that maybe you don't you don't like as much as other parts. Yes, Jen? No response back. Okay, so when you just put the effort out and there's like, no, okay, so no response. Yeah, crickets. Okay. When you get crickets, I get it. Anybody else? What's, what's one part of booking that maybe isn't your favorite? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me help you guys with a little bit. So what I find is that if you have some of the ele the elemental things, the, the 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 stuff that are like the basics, then it it actually can become really fun. So jot some of these things down. So number one is you got to make a list, right? You got to make a list of people. Who who are you going to call? Could be just warm chatter, booth event leads. Could be an event that like Carrie and I did, but it might also be your relatives. It might be who your Facebook friends are, who follows you on Instagram. Just Write their names down. Okay, so that's important. You got to have a list. Number two, and these are not necessarily in order of importance. You have to know when are you available. Okay, so let's say I don't want to keep looking on Melody. So let's say Mariah works uh, in the mornings and she works Wednesday through Sunday, but gets off at two. Is she going to book a morning facial? No, because she's at work. So she's going to take what they call a weekly plan sheet. She's going to take some kind of a highlighter and she's going to say, okay. When could I hold an appointment? She goes, well, I could hold an appointment uh, Wednesday afternoon, Thursday afternoon, Friday night, Saturday afternoon. Let's say you take Sundays off, whatever. You put holes on your calendar everywhere that you could book. Now, I always have more holes on there than I would ever fill. I usually will have six or seven squares on my calendar. Am I going to fill all those? No, but that's when I don't have a conflict with the chamber, with something social, like I don't have anything booked. That's when I could hold an appointment. So you've got to know, one, who are you going to call? Two, when are you available? Because you don't say to her, well, when do you want to do it? Like, do you think the dentist says to you, well, when would you like to come in? The dentist goes, well, we need to see you in six months. Do you prefer Tuesday or Friday? Right. You don't get to say, I want a Wednesday. They say, do you want Tuesday? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so number one, making your list. Number two is when are you available? Number three, um, what's in it for them? Yeah. So I, I get what's in it for you. But let's talk about what's in it for them. So what are you going to offer her? We're going to use look at some scripts in just a second as an incentive for booking. It might be a half off shopping spree. It could be an unlimited half off shopping spree, or it could be like 100 at half off or 125 at half off. Keep in mind, gang, you don't lose any money on those. You don't make any money, but you don't lose any money. 
And do you know how, how psycho women get like psycho excited they get when they get to know they get a half off shopping spree, right? Like when you, like if Macy said, everybody who comes in the mall tomorrow gets a half off, we'd all be there before the store opens and go everything in the whole store is half off, <laughs> right? So you have to, you have to ask it what's in it for her. So basically, what are you going to offer your hostess? Don't be, don't feel like you have to give away the kitchen sink. Like, you know, $200 a free product. Well, $200 a free product costs you a hundred bucks. And I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm saying a half off shopping spree, I think works great. All right. So what's in it for her. Okay. Then you want to have, you'll notice the short video you're about to see. You'll notice they give them choices. Do you want to do Tuesday or Friday? Beginning of the week or the end of the week? Do you want to do morning or evening? So you give them choices because it, it gets people to make a decision. All these scripts I'm about to show you guys are all worded for you to get a yes. Well, that is the goal. So if you were hired by Mary Kay Cosmetics or by our Dynamite unit and your number one job title is you are a product demonstrator. You are there to pamper and make people feel special. So if I said to you, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, at your full-time job, you're required to pamper two people every day, five days a week. That's your, that's your full-time gig. It's like, okay. Don't get hung up on how much they buy. Just put the product on two faces a day. You're like, okay. So you're thinking, okay, who could I get tomorrow? Who could I get the next day? If you literally had that kind of a mindset to do two a day, four days a week, that's eight faces in a week, gang. Eight faces a week is the magical number. Eight faces a week, you're a star consultant. You can become a red jacket. You can earn a car for your family. Everything magical happens with eight faces. <clears throat> you can always do more than eight, but I'm telling you, eight faces a week, <clears throat> And I don't know anybody who's on here tonight who has so much time on their hands, because I know you're all busy, to do eight individual one-on-one, one-on-one, one-on-one. -on -one. It's more, there's more dynamic and more um, relationships if you guys can do them at least in groups of two or three. Now, who here, you can raise your hand virtually or whatever, who here is a little, shy, I don't want to use the word shy, I hate that word, like a little, um, kind of not intimidated, not quite as comfortable with public speaking. Does anybody get a little nervous in front of doing a facial or a class, talking in front of people? Or was I the only one when I started? Because I thought I was going to throw up on people. I was so nervous. Well, I guess I must have been the only one. Okay, well, all of you must be a lot more confident than I was. So here's what I did know. If I did Sandy as a facial one-on-one, -on -one, she has to talk to me, which means I have to talk back to her. I don't want to talk back to her because I'm scared I'm going to throw up and I'm nervous. But if I get her to invite Jen, Jen and Sandy are going to talk to each other. They're not going to talk to me. Okay, and then there's a dynamic. Oh, I think you look good. What do you think about me? Oh, I think you look great too. Like they're going to talk themselves into getting whatever they want to buy They're again they're not talking to me so for me I did everything possible to get everybody to do be a group of two I don't think I hardly did ever a single facial because I didn't want them to talk to me because I have would have to talk back and I just thought man if I so I'd say to her Sandy I'll tell you what I have a free mascara for you if you can bring a friend who do you know that would love to get pampered not do you know someone you always say who do you know the other word you're going to want to write down aside from who do you know, is, is there any reason why? Sandy, is there any reason why you couldn't share with one friend? Because my goal is 30 faces in the next two weeks. And I can't really do 30 faces individually. And if you could invite two people over, it would mean the world to me. And she's like, totally done. I can do that. And I said, well, I'll give you extra free product or I'll give you, a, you know, I'll give you 125 and half off instead. So she's helping me. Women love helping each other, correct? And again, if she has people over, she's not talking to me. She's talking to her friends. And, but why else would you guys want to do that? Chances are, if you're going to be in front of three people, you might have a higher chance of getting a potential other hostess, a, a potential team member and more bookings, right? It's far more efficient. Exactly. Absolutely. So I'm going to share with you guys a super, super short, well, let me find the right video here. Um, nope, nope. Okay. It's here somewhere. Hold on. That is not it. I have like nine screens open. This is too funny. Uh, nope. Oh my gosh, seriously. Okay, wait. Is this it? Oh. Uh, okay, let me go back and find this. Okay. Booking appointments. Okay. All right. So this is a very, very, very short video. This just gives you a role play. Now, granted, you guys, these are two Mary Kay people. So if you were doing this and you were not two Mary Kay people, it would probably sound a little less canned and go a little bit more smooth. But I just want you to hear this as a possibility of a woman who runs into another woman. They hadn't seen each other in a long time. They exchanged phone numbers and she called her back. 
So let me just make sure you can hear my sound. All right, check this out. Hello? Hello, is this Carol? Erin? Yes, it's me, oh my goodness. How have you been? It was so great running into you at the park yesterday. I've been great. Yes, it was so great to see you. It seems like forever since I last saw you. How are you? What brings you to town? I'm doing great. So sorry I couldn't chat longer yesterday. I was already running late for an appointment. Oh, no problem. I understand. I'm just glad we had enough time to exchange numbers. I've been wondering about you. You know, Aaron, my husband and I actually just moved to this area about a year ago to be closer to his new job. You did? Oh, that's great. How about you, Aaron? How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Actually, I just just started my very own business. I'm a Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant now. Wow, really? Good for you. How do you like it so far? I really love it. And oh my goodness, Carol, I'm actually working on a goal to pamper 30 women in 30 days. Okay, did you guys hear that? You're going to hear that same obnoxious goal a zillion times. 30 faces in 30 days. People get it. They understand. <laughs> Is there any reason why we couldn't get together for a pampering session and you could help me reach my goal? Did you guys get that? Is there any reason why we couldn't get together and let me pamper you so you can help me reach my goal? Again, it's, it's the pampering. It's the, is there any reason why? It's the word help. It would also be a great opportunity for us to catch up. What do you say? That actually sounds great, Erin. I could really use some pampering and I'd love to catch up with you as well. Great. I'm so excited. When are you free? Um, I'm actually out and about right now, and I don't have my calendar with me. I'll have to check my schedule when I get home. Oh, okay. No problem. Please give me a call once you know what your schedule looks like, okay? Okay. That sounds like a plan. Okay. I look forward to hearing back from you soon. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay. So that is, a, in my opinion, a little bit of a disaster because I wouldn't open, ask an open-ended question like what's your schedule I'd say when we do get together do you think a daytime is going to work or an evening and if she says well I don't have my calendar with me I'd say well are you ever available during the day and she might say well no I work and then I'd say okay so days out so it would either need to be an evening or a weekend so usually if you give people choices like that now the one thing you're going to hear Ari Hathaway share in a minute is people will say all the time well let me check with my friends and I'll get back to you well, just like Jen says, you feel like you make all these calls and you don't get any bookings because everyone's going to check with their friends. Well, getting women together is like herding cats. And I tell people that. And I say, so I said to my hostess today that I booked, her name is Joanne. And I said, Joanne, here's what I will tell you. <laughs> We're never going to pick a day everyone can come. So I said, what I'd prefer to do is let's set a tentative date, date that you, that's good for you and a date that I'm available. I'll make you an invitation. You can text it out. And what I would do, I, I'd send it to 15 people because out of 15, usually six to seven go, oh, that date works perfect. Otherwise, we're never going to find a date. And I'm afraid if you ask your friends and then you all decide next Friday is best for you and I'm already booked on Friday, then we're back to square one. Because the first thing your friends are going to ask you is when, well, when is it? Yeah, I'd like to come, but when is it? The other thing I will tell you guys is, so if you go on our unit Facebook page, you will see that there are scripts that I just posted from a lot of the things that I'm talking about, every single script that I'm showing you tonight is already posted on our unit Facebook page. Um, but I do want to share with you, so you'll see all the little scripts are, are already on there. One of the things that I have found is really helpful is the way you were text texting scripts. So there's another handout. Um, uh, okay, so this, this particular one I'm going to share with you guys. Wait, where'd you guys go? Yes, Diane, you can do Zoom. Okay. So one of these scripts, it talks about a challenge the company did in October. So with the fact that we are turning 60 years old next month and the company is going to ask you to do, the company is going to kick off a, a contest, you guys, in case you didn't know, it starts the day that you can order miracle sets. And for every 13 sets that you sell and order, your name is going into a drawing for gift certificates and all kinds of stuff. So the goal is if to be for me is to pre-sell 13 sets. So the day they become available, I'm going to order 26 sets, 13 to sell and 13 for my shelf. But here's an example uh, script right here. It says, hey, Lindsay, it's Karen. I'm so excited. I just found out that Mary Kay is challenging all of the consultants in the United States to hold a million parties in the month of October. But you could say is that they've challenged us in the United States to have 30 women um, in the next 30 days try the brand new skincare. And I need your help. I'm doing my part by, by doing 30 faces or whatever you want to say to her. Um, I can do this virtually or in person. And if you have at least five friends join you, I will gift you with a one-time 50% off shopping spree. 
Would you be willing to gather a few friends to help me with my goal? Again, it's all in how you word it. Notice the last thing you ask is the question. You always put the question at the end because you're more likely to get a better response. So there's other scripts in here that really, really work. But I'm going to really quickly, anybody have comments yet? Any comments or thoughts? Okay, you all are really quiet tonight. That's unusual. About instead of saying that, saying, is there any reason why you couldn't get a few friends together to help me reach my goal? Absolutely. Absolutely. And so it, again, you guys, you start with the list and I would start with the person that you're most likely going to get a yes from. So for me, it was not my family. My family said no to everybody and all my relatives said no. So my family and my relatives were just a royal pain in the neck. So I went to people I worked with that I didn't know very well. And I said, hey, you know what? I'm my, my mentor. I didn't tell him it was my sister. My mentor Janice is doing a party for me. And she said that she's going to come to my house and I'm looking for some faces. And I'm wondering if I could borrow your face this Thursday night. It's fun. It's free. I'll have a gift for you. And they go, yeah, sure. And then once they said yes, this is key. So write this down. Once they say yes, customize your call with them. Find out about their skin. Remember, you want them to chase you. And then I say, well, now, you know, Melanie, thanks so much for telling me all about your skin. And I'm curious, is there any reason why you couldn't bring a couple friends with you? In fact, if you could bring three people with you, Melanie, I can give you a hundred dollar shopping spree at half off because all three of those faces, they count toward my 30. And when women see that and they know that they're helping you, they're like, oh yeah, I can do that. Because she's also thinking, I want a half off shopping spree. <laughs> Does that sort of make sense, you guys? Okay, so let me show you a tiny little bit. I'm going to post this video. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but Ari Hathaway's got a great, um, I'm just going to show this to you. 160 degree success, full circle success. And this is really important for you to understand that the very first step of having success is booking and that's this class now the next class i'm going to teach you is coaching which is how the art of keeping the appointments that you book then we're going to move into selling and finally at the end it's sharing how to share the mary Kay business opportunity so every step along the way one leads into the next leads into the next leads into the next and there's this solid flow that happens throughout our mary Kay business which really allows us to run a successful business all right so i'm going to add here to the stream our book that we have our pdf that we have and of course you can get it on the link of this youtube video as well as you can also download it right on driven It'll be on our website before, as soon as the meeting's over. In area.com in Spanish and in English. And class number two is bookings. Now this looks a little tiny on here. So hopefully you have the PDF in front of you because I'm going to roll through this and I'm going to give you first some booking tips. After I go through some booking tips, then we're going to go into the booking scripts. Now I'm going to have a few different scripts for you. Um, the very first script that I'm going to have for you, and let me make myself a little bit bigger here, is going to be booking people you know. But then I'm going to share with you booking people that you meet at your parties and your appointments. And then finally, I'm going to close with booking scripts for those that are um, th those friends of yours that give you a list of names and numbers of people to call. Right. They're sharing their friends and their family members with you. So we will be covering that as well, too. So not only are we going to cover some tips, not only are we going to cover the three places of who to book, but then, of course, this wouldn't be an Ari Hathaway class if I didn't close with a challenge, challenge. Right. So, of course, I'm going to close with a challenge as well, too. And you're going to feel leaving equipped and um, ready to run your Mary Kay business. All right, so let's get started right away with our very first booking tip. The very first booking tip I have to give you is that booking is a lifeline to your business. And so really every time I am writing a appointment in my date book, I'm actually imagining that I'm writing in my checkbook. Writing in your date book is like writing in your checkbook. And this is so important for you to know that if you don't have bookings, your business is completely dead. It is completely dependent upon booking. So, so many times you'll go to a party and you'll come back. I'm so excited. I sold $500. But if you don't have bookings, well, what are we going to do now? Like you have to start from scratch. Like to me, a successful party is one where you have bookings. Uh, why is that so important? Because it keeps your business going. To me, I'm going to sell Mary Kay. And this is why, you know, nobody really tries Mary Kay and goes, oh my goodness, that's just crap. Like they don't. It's awesome product. It's phenomenal. You know, so there's a few facts. The sky is blue and Mary Kay is awesome. Now, some women are not that upfront. They don't tell you right off the cuff 
wow, that's awesome. Why? Because they've got walls and they're hurt and they don't just share honest opinions that way. So they have to pretend like, oh, but that was okay. But in reality, deep down in their soul, they're thinking, this is impressive stuff. So people love the product or they keep it to themselves and inside they love it. So the product sells by itself. What you really need to focus on at your parties is the booking. So we're going to share with you a few scripts on the next page. And the, probably the most important tip I could tell you is to be authentic. Make sure you add in your personal touch. It doesn't need to sound like me. It does need to sound like you. Be genuine, be enthusiastic, and make sure that you're smiling when you're booking because you can hear a smile and smiling is contagious. Make sure now, you guys might think that's crazy, but I will tell you there are call centers for customer service and they put mirrors in everybody's cubicle, not to see how cute you are. It's so that you smile the entire time you're on the phone. So that's one of her tips down here. Number three, smile when booking, you can hear a smile and it's contagious. Make sure that you're smiling when you're booking because you can hear a smile and smiling is contagious. Oh my goodness, which one sounded better? Can you hear the difference? So I keep a mirror in front of me when I book so that I remember to smile. All right, another tip is to make sure you say your affirmations. Affirmations not only boost your confidence, but they increase your results. You know, I have an affirmation and I repeat to myself my goal. I am so excited to make these calls because these women that are gonna say yes to me today is going to be the way that I'm gonna make my dream come true of being able to buy my own home, right? So you want to affirm because it increases your energy, your enthusiasm, it changes your tone and that increases your results. Now, I'm going to give you a few tips, and these are pro tips, pro tips. So you got to decide that you're a pro at booking. So here it is. Pros practice the scripts. Do you know that if you got a job at McDonald's working minimum wage, getting paid minimum wage, do you know that you would be required to memorize a script? All right. This is really important for you to understand. Minimum wage paid employees are required to memorize the script. So do you think it's a good idea to not memorize this script that I'm about to give you or to not practice it? Probably not a good idea to not memorize it and not work it, right? So memorize the script. The second thing I want to tell you is pros work the numbers. And I'm going to share with you the, the numbers in a moment because that means that it gives you the capacity to try and try again. I think all right, you guys, so for time, I'm going to kind of go through some of these. So when she's talking about working in the numbers, you can't book one party and expect one party to hold. That's just not going to happen. But if you book three, for sure, one's going to hold. Maybe two will hold. Maybe all three will hold, but statistically, probably not. Someone's going to have a COVID emergency or their dog is sick or whatever. So you book three to hold one. You book five to hold two, or what Mary Keys tells all the time is to book eight to hold five. So once you have eight parties on your books, you're like, wow, that means that between now and the end of the month, I've got eight parties booked. That means I know five are going to hold. And if your party average is 300 to $600, do the math. It all works. Okay. And it says, take all the emotion out of the equation. So for, try to go for 10 no's. So for every 10 no's, you'll get a yes. All right. So then down here, it says who, when, where, who to book, start with your wedding list. That's the list of people. If you haven't made your list of who, you know, go to Instagram, see who, who you follow or who follows you. When you guys go to Facebook, because a lot of us have Facebook friends, we don't even know who some of these people are, is look at who has commented or given you an emoji when you posted something like, oh my gosh, we just you know, did such and such with the kids and you had maybe 11 people send you a smiley face or a thumbs up. Who are those 11 people? Because those are the people who are engaged with your life who are paying attention, okay? So it talks a little bit about you know, keep it going with guests at parties and fill it in with the list of the, on the people in the back of the profile card. What that basically means is when you are booking your, and you're holding your parties, you want to say at every party, you guys get to see me three times. So please take advantage of all three appointments. And I talk about that. I say, oh my gosh, you guys, tonight we did charcoal, but I'm hoping one of you does microderm and the rest of you come to her microderm party. And then one of you do glycolic and everybody come to her party. And then who here is going to do the makeup one? Because we get to get together three or four times. And that is literally, I don't mind at all that the same group of women get together again. Now, when I was a new consultant, my first thought was, well, that's a waste of my time. No, it's not. It's not a waste of your time at all. In fact, if I saw the same group of women three times in a month and a half, they're going to walk right past Sephora, Ulta, Target, whatever. And they're going to think, I don't need to go in there. I have Diane. Why would I go in there? If you guys have three appointments with one woman in a month and a half, you, you she's, you're going to be your client for life. So and what happens is like when I booked a party off a party, I book a party from Jen Allen 
and Isabella booked off of Jen Allen's party. So Isabella invited a few people from her the other party, but then some of the people that only she knew came to that party. Does that make sense? And then that party person booked a few more people that from their so they can still invite the back ones, but they also invite the new ones. Does that make sense? So on Ari Hathaway's sheet here, I'm just going to share this with you super quick. She does talk a little bit. Um, oh, that's not letting me do that. Okay. Anyway, um, she goes over different things to say and what not to say. That if you and know the statistics, you I know. I will post this video if you guys would like to see it so that you guys can continue to um, listen to that and hear all that. Um, anybody have any questions on scripts, what they say, what they're doing? Find a script that makes you guys, that you feel empowered. Because here's the deal. I'll never forget. This was probably, maybe I was a brand new director, but here's another script. Now, this is all from Mary Kay University. Here's some sample booking scripts. Hi, Mary. I just started my very own business, blah, blah, blah. Here's another one for your very own business. Then down here, it's for booking a virtual party. Hey, Susie, I'm trying something new with my with my Mary Kay business, and I'd love your support. If you're not working Sunday, could you come to my virtual Mary Kay party? So this gives you some scripts. They are worded to get a yes. Okay, and there's page one and page two. And here's help, you know, helpful tips to help you do that. What I will tell you guys, and this is a true story in a stack of Bibles. Somebody had called me. I went to some Mary Kay training class and they said, you guys should offer 75 for 35 or 75 for 25 shopping spree. And I thought, wow, 75 for 25. That sounds like a lot. That sounds like a killer deal, right? Well, think about that. A $75 shopping spree is costing you how much? What's half of 75? 37.50, right? Yeah. And if they're paying you 25 for it, it's costing you 12.50 out of your pocket. So, but it sounds like so much more. So I remember calling customers and saying, oh my gosh, I can only do this with 10 people, but it's called, it's a, you get a $75 shopping spree for only $25. So you basically get like a 66% discount. And they're like, I want to do that. I booked, I think I booked five parties in 24 hours. I'd never booked that many parties in one day in my whole career. And I was excited. You know why I was effective booking? Because I was excited. I thought that was the most killer deal I'd ever heard. 75 for 25. It's like, um, you know, or you could say 75 for 35. I think I did 75 for 35. And if it held on the original date, I gave them another 10 off. So then it was 75 for 25. Because that was back in the day when I was hiring a babysitter for my kids when they were really little and my ex was working. And so I just, I didn't want to hire a babysitter and then have to change the date of the babysitter. So I incentivized the women, you know what I mean? By sweetening the pot a little bit if it holds on the original date. So what I will tell you guys is that this is a simple business, but if you're not putting product on faces, yes, we can do a lot of stuff virtually, but it's just like one of the reasons why Yasi was so successful is she's letting people try stuff, you know, squirt it on them, let them try it, sniff it, smell it, experience it. That is truly what makes us apart from all the other companies. So who wants to share anything about either booking, booking scripts, what, what they've tried that's worked, any positive thoughts, comments? Y'all are completely tongue-tied tonight. Y'all just cracked me up. I mean, you could make a sheet of like say a hundred no's and see how many yeses you get. You could you could totally track that. Here's what's a, a really fun statistic, Sandy, is take a deck of cards, shuffle them up really good and know that every face card, every king, queen, ace, and a jack are yeses. They are a hostess that'll say yes or they'll say yes to the career opportunity. So if you say, well, I'm going to share the Mary Kay career opportunity with 52 people. Every time you might have four people in a row say no, pull out the seven, pull out the three, pull out the five, pull out the nine. And then the next one says, yes, it's like grab the, the Jack or the queen or whatever, scotch tape it to the wall, first team member. So the same thing with bookings. If you can, if you ask 52 people, I promise you, you'll end up with 12 bookings. You might end up with more than that, but I'd love for you to prove me wrong. Grab a deck of cards, maybe tonight, shuffle up the cards and know that every yes you get is a face card and just scotch tape it up on the wall. But you guys have got to be excited about what you're going to offer. So what are what are some of you offering right now? Like right now, this month, tomorrow, what are you going to offer? If I was to book a party with you, what were you what are you going to offer me? What's your what's your incentive to get me to say yes? I've just gone back to that simple um like 10 or 15 or 20 percent off on the party sales, depending on what kind of a party it is. Because it's so much easier to keep track of it now with the new software, the new, um, what is it? Book my party? Book my party app. Okay. All right. 
So you're just doing a percentage of the party sales. Okay. Anybody else? What are you guys doing that's working or what are you excited about? Because if you're excited about it, it'll work. Yes, Jen. Also, um, I decided to do that because then it helps with outside sales too, right? Because the, the hostess is incentivized to go out to her friends, have them download the app or go on my website or whatever, buy, and she gets the credit for it then too. Okay. Okay, great. Anybody else? What are you What are you using? Carrie, Marty, what are you guys using to book? What What are you going to use as an incentive? Anyone want to share? What I find, I have a lot of women that love a deal and I have I have not had as much success just doing the straight percentage because they're like, they, they go, yeah, but what if my friends don't buy? And so what I have said to them was, well, you get a hundred and half off no matter what. But if you have, or, or and you can say, but if you have five friends over, I can make it 150 at half. I mean, you know what I mean? Because so, I'm all about numbers. If I can get six parties of six people, that's 36 faces. I would rather do six parties with six faces than 18 double facials, okay? So if that means I got to sweeten the pot and, and bump up the $100 shopping spree to 130, 150 at half off, and then I give them 10% of the party sales. And then then like just like Jen said, you can plant that seed and say, well, plus 10% of the party sales, so feel free to take outside orders. Some of the people may not be able to make it, so I'm gonna send you a digital catalog. And that's really smart because that tells you who else is a great prospect. If someone says, oh, well, three of my friends couldn't come, but they already spent $100. Okay, I'm going to talk to this woman about becoming a consultant because anybody who will take $100 in outside orders. Um, and then one last thing is you heard Ari talk about booking from bookings, right? Because if you have a $500 party with no bookings, your business just came to a grinding halt. So what are you offering if people do book from your parties? Yes, they get the same hostess thing, but are you going to give the hostess anything if she gets bookings? So I heard this idea a couple of years ago and I use it all the time is I say, oh my gosh, for everybody that books off of your party, Carrie, you get an additional $20 gift card to spend at their party. So at Carrie's party, if Jen books off of her party and Sandy books off of her party, if those parties don't hold, Carrie doesn't get those shopping sprees. But guess what Carrie's going to do? She's going to make sure those parties hold. She's going to go to those parties because she gets a $20 gift card to spend at each party. And I'd say, so Carrie, you can, you can, um, you get a $20 shopping, $20 gift card to spend at every party up to six parties. If you can walk away from a party with six parties. I am all over that, like white on rice, like go ahead, let's book six parties off of a party. I will be super happy for that. And I've even had hostesses say to me, can I book a second party? Can I be a hostess again? I say, absolutely. Just keep inviting more people. Does that sort of make sense? So you guys, booking is the lifeline of our business. If you're saying I'm in this business for personal growth and I don't really need to make money, here's what I will tell you. Take yourself out of the picture and have this about getting women. And I was talking to um, Casey about this the other day. Our job, especially if, if you do know a lot of young moms, our job is to give women permission to pause their life for an hour, lock themselves in the bathroom or whatever they got to do to have some self-care. And that's my mission is every day I'm thinking, who could I have come tomorrow that I could just get them to slow down for an hour? So I hope you guys have enjoyed the booking stuff. We're going to continue to go. We're going to be doing another class on money management because I've had a lot of people ask me about money management. I might just shoot a whole video on money management though and play a segment because it's not the most exciting topic. I mean, to me, it is It's super exciting, but not everybody finds money management exciting. Um, but I really, really want you guys to really wrap your heads around this. So Kelly, um, one of my offspring, she took the skincare survey that I that I threw together and she called a couple of customers today and used that survey and one of them booked a party. One of them said, actually, yeah, you know what? I'd like to try the skincare and I, yeah, I'm, I'm all in. And she's like, uh, okay. <laughs> so you guys, please utilize the skincare survey. It's on our unit Facebook page. Utilize tomorrow. If you guys live within 30 minutes of Martinez, please come tomorrow. It doesn't matter whether you bring an 18-year-old or an 80-year-old, um, but please RSVP to me that you're coming. You do need to bring your own trays and mirrors unless you don't have a kit, um, but tomorrow's going to be amazing. And I really hope all the consultants will come because I really want you all to try it because you can't sell and get excited about something if you've never tried it, right? So did anybody this last week sell a set of skincare? Since last Tuesday, did anybody sell skincare? I know a couple of you did. 
Yasi, you sold, I don't know how many, two sets of men's, one set of clear proof. Yasi, so, since you are on, do you mind, do you want to come on really quick and tell everybody how you sold over a thousand dollars of products so quick? Are you able to unmute? I know we just placed your order tonight too. Are you able to come off your mic? Yeah, see, are you, Hi. Are you, Hi there, dear. So tell everybody, how did you sell so much product so quick? Well, I was, um, I know about Mary Kay a long time ago. So I have some friends that they know about Mary Kay too. So I sent um, text, I sent my link and yeah, it's not too much for me, but I think that was good. Uh, so you, what start. did you say in your text? Do you mind if I ask, what did you say in your text? Oh, I say, uh, hey, I will, I send you the link for my new business. And everybody knows that I work so hard and they say one more. Because <laughs> you have like so, three other businesses, right? Yes, yeah. I'm working all the time. So everybody say, what well, you have time to do? I don't know what I, I want to do it. So. If you want to uh, uh, meet or you want to buy or you want to help me, you know, I I will appreciate, appreciate what you're going to do for me. And they say, oh, okay, let me check. And then they were checking and they say, oh yeah, could you, I, I don't know if they make just to help me or something like that, but they say, okay, uh, and I, or, I'm going to order this, I'm going to order that. So, but I still, I don't have any, uh, uh, fa facial face face to face or any teacup, you Not know, yet, but you party. will, yeah. But yeah, that's the way that I was trying to ask, you know, most of the people to help me, you know, to start my business. What's great about doing that, and so I, I think you missed the beginning of the meeting, but we were talking about enrolling people in the preferred customer program. A great customer service thing for you to do now would be to text everyone who bought anything, even if they bought one item, and say. I would like to send you the catalog for the holidays. Do you want it in English or Spanish? And what's your address? Because most of the time we don't have people's full mailing address with zip codes. And if you can start gathering all those, it makes them feel like, wow, I'm special. She's going to take care of me. When you're like, I really want to send you the holiday book with a free sample inside. What is the best address to send it to? And you send oh, that to every okay. single person who bought. I don't care if they bought one item or they bought 30 items. If you said that little text to everybody and said, um, I have a deadline to um, send the holiday catalog to you with a free sample inside. Please send me your address tonight and your zip code. You'll get, oh. I mean, again, it makes them feel like, wow, she's going to take really good care of me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will check that with Marty if she can help me too. Yeah, it's it, yeah, and if, and if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. You guys, I'm just really excited about about really strengthening your customer base. I would rather have you have 10 customers or 20 customers or 30 customers on everything than to have 50 customers that buy one thing. They're buying a hydrogel eye patch the next month they're gone. Because if oh. you take really good care of them, it's about building them deep, not necessarily, you know what I mean? Build, build them deep, get them on everything. And part of that happens by sampling. Part of that happens by giving them maybe a birthday discount the month of their birthday, taking care of them. And the last thing I will say in closing is please add people to the scoop about beauty. I sat down with a woman who I'm hiring to help me, we're going to start going on the Scoop About Beauty page three times a week. There will either be a live or a video three times a week. So if you guys don't have time to do your own VIP page right now, or you're kind of hit and miss on, on being on there, please add your customers or your girlfriends to the, the, the page called the Scoop About Beauty. And they will start seeing, I'm going to start it on Monday. I might even start one this Friday. Um, they'll start seeing a live and it'll be sometimes five minutes, sometimes three minutes, sometimes 10, might be on the new skincare, might be on the waterproof liners, could be on a product, but they're going to see live tutorials. And I'm usually a hot mess. So at least I'm entertaining, like I'll, you know, drop things and whatever. Um, but please encourage, please get people on there because if I'm going to hire this gal to help me do all these posts and everything, I would rather have it help and impact all of you. Okay. So please let me know if you're coming to conquer to uh, Martinez tomorrow. Um, if you guys are interested in me doing it again next week, I think Thursday night would be the best night to do it. Um, and if you don't have a preference, I'll probably do it at Martinez again. 
unless like Melanie, unless some of you guys feel like you could get a lot more people here to Benicia and I can just do it here at my house. Um, but let's do some more in-person things. Um, and please, please make sure you've got the deadline for the PCP cutoff. And then you guys all know that the products are available. So if you have 300 wholesale and orders by tonight, you are invited to an exclusive training call with million dollar director, Donna, Donna Mikesell, um, or excuse me, Donna Clark Driscoll, excuse me, wrong, wrong Donna, million dollar director. Um, and then if you have 600 in by tonight, you are, your name is put into the drawing for a whole bunch of like Amazon gift cards. So you want to ideally have at least 300 wholesale in by the 15th of every month so that you guys can get these amazing, amazing extra training classes. Okay. So here's your challenge for tonight. You have 20, you guys, I have so many prizes. I even bought more prizes in Dallas. Don't ask me why, because I do not need more prizes, but I got really cool bookmarks. I got coasters. I got um, Cadillac card case. I have so much stuff, you guys. Please pay attention to the contest this month about selling 25 items and ordering 300 because one of them is a ceramic, they brought it back, ceramic Cadillac business card holder. Sits on your desk and hold your business cards and it's a pink Cadillac car. So they just brought that back and they sold out already, but I got five. So I got five of them before they sold out. Um, so your challenge is to get a party booked and you've got 24 hours. It has to be booked to be held in August. I'd like it to be held this month. So by the 31st, get one party booked and text me that you did it and I will put a gift in the mail. One party, party, not a single facial. I need it to be at least three people. If you already have one on your books, yay, go get another one. So call that one relative who you know won't say no or friend or whatever and say, I need to know if you can do this for me. Okay, and feel free to use any of the scripts. They're all on our unit Facebook page and a lot of the scripts are really good. Find the script that excites you and use that. I am gonna be making my own personal booking calls tomorrow afternoon. So if anyone wants to listen in on me on a three-way phone call, just let me know. I just mute you out and I get the same no's. I get the same wah, wah that you all get. So if you feel like you need to listen, then just let me know, all right? but you guys are going to die. The waterproof liners. Oh my God. Like the best, the best eyeliners and lip liners we've ever had. So I'm putting my other ones on sale because I want to get rid, I want to get rid of all the old ones because the new ones are just superior to the old. So all right, you guys have a great evening. I hope to see you all in Martinez. If you're local to me, Marty, if you want to do a road trip and come up here, maybe you can stay at my house. I would love for you to come tomorrow, bring up, throw a whole bunch of people in your car from Santa Cruz and um, we can make this all happen. Okay. All right, you guys, 24 hours, book a party. One, I made it super easy this week. All right, you guys, I'll see you all later. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Good night.